All right, welcome back to another episode of War Tales Co-op. Chris is with me. We are ready to rumble. Chris, I want to show you your first uh, sea naval engagement, and I hope right, that we're very right. very soon going to be level four, because boy, this is t testing my patience. Yeah. Well, he's having, at uh, still 180 XP off, so I think that's going to be a while. Yeah, having 100, uh, having literally like 20 armor and being a one shot isn't fun at all. Ooh. Pirates in the north, behind us apparently. I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't see them either, but take it it's pretty far north in that case oh that's a high seas fishing spot is correct it? we're starting with some hardcore fishing there's only one fish in here and you need to really work for it but uh, you can get treasures you can get um, crafting rare crafting resources and of course a lot of food oh yeah it's making the mini game harder Oof. nice job a tuna Good. We are sailing to our first naval battle and it's going to be a one on one on one or rather two on one as we're helping with a pirate encounter. You got all your stuff repaired? What? We got it all. Got time for questions, mercenaries. Help us up here. Okay. Okay, so let's talk business on the ships. You will see uh, three ships now actually back to back to back. Every single ship does have uh, ropes. Uh, ours does have two. Uh, the others might have a little bit more. You can go next to a rope and then kind of freeboot your way over wherever you want. It's basically a uh, delayed teleportation. So you will be delayed a little bit and then you're landing. When you're landing, you're um, doing damage and you're pushing everyone away. Um, so that's mechanic number one. Mechanic number two is you see the little ballistas. Uh, you can uh -huh. go to them. Uh, enemies will do that plentiful of times. You can reload them and then uh, with a second turn shoot them. It's a piercing arrow across the entire map for quite a bit of damage. Third mechanic. Anyone that is knocked off the, um, off, uh, the field uh, is hanging uh, at uh, the sideways and can be trampled upon and instantly dies. Um, your allies or the allies of the person that is hanging uh, can move there and basically pull them uh, back up in, in the fight. So uh, knockback is plenty for good because it can le lead to an instant kill. Rock? Good. All right. I suggest we're taking the leftmost uh, mm, the leftmost boat. So please pull all of the important people there. Boat? You mean the bridge? No, no, boat. Uh, the, you're on the rightmost boat. Maybe. It's... Oh, I still have some people over there. Yes, yeah. seven guys and one more. All right. Good. Then let's talk about who is going to take uh, the. Uh, ropes. Uh, I would say Kalia is taking the lower um, uh, one, and uh, Udyr can take the upper one. I don't even see any ropes. No, on um, this ship. Look where Vola is. Yeah. There is a uh, rope uh, with a python. Uh, and you can go into oh, yeah, over there. Yeah. Yeah. And you will take you'll take that so that you can uh, enjoy the mechanics. So the upper one is for you, the lower one is for me. We good? All right. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Do we do our shout thingy at the start or later on? Uh, we can do that a little bit later on. Let me set up the tank first and we're kind of moving in. I would suggest uh, I am moving into here and you can move up with your archer and then do the shout uh, there and put up a zone good enemy is loading a ballista uh yeah i 
can't quite get that far all the way to you. Though uh, you do have sprint, move... so you can. Yeah, but then I won't have the points for a zone as well. No, you do. We have three. Yes. Oh, you wanted to shout. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, if you move Severin Geth so... first, then yeah, you yep. should be fine. <clears throat> Do you mind if he's next to you? Not at all. Go ahead. All right. I could move him a little bit to the back, so. Yeah, we're a little bit screwed uh, if they are using uh, the uh, the ropes. Is that instant? Yep. Uh, there you go. He's going to push us in. Okay. Unpleasant. Uh, oh, that happens before the end of the turn. Yes, it happens before the end of the turn. So you want to use your archer last. Uh, you might want to... Uh, let me show you how, how the ropes are used. So I'm going down using the rope. Mm -hmm. And I am now landing right on top of uh, Jessaway. Yeah, uh, to disrupt I, the ballista. Correct. I can't get her all the way uh, back but later you you can effectively do that yeah they're doubling down <laughs> on us okay so this is going to hurt yep um well, you might want to land, uh, you could, for instance, land on the Corsair's head. Yeah, knock him off. And, and knock him directly off, yeah. Or, or you land on their landing zone as well, uh, which will hurt whoever has landed there. Either way is fine. Uh, the knockoff definitely is, is worth it. Um, if you get knocked off while you're already hanging on, hanging on do you, uh, you know, die? No, but... Um, uh, if the other guy lands, then it becomes problematic. And, uh... Okay, now it's problematic. So, uh, another thing to know, uh, in order to, like, drop um, and uh, do that swinging, um, you will need a standard attack. And let me go next, please. Uh, you will need to a uh, standard attack, uh, which means you can't immediately help someone or uh, trample him down so now i raise them that costs my uh, the co uh, raising costs a uh, valor am i not just gonna knock you down again when i land no uh, we are unaffected by our own uh, knocks oh, okay. matter of fact this is going to be fun Because you potentially will kill this guy and you will disengage us when you're landing. So that's going to be really, really good. So see, because I moved, I cannot use my standard uh, attack. That was used for, uh, for swinging there. But... I can and should hide behind you like a little bitch. Uh, yeah. Good. You might want to shout and not set up the zone. Uh, that way we at least uh, get points next round. Let me see. Yeah, that works. Move all the way to there. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, hit whoever you want. All right, that guy will definitely die from the landing impact. No, he won't. My bad. Apparently, the landing impact is calculated by armor value because my landings definitely did way more damage than what we've seen here. All right, so. Uh. Kill that guy, probably. Get the damage boost. Sure. And then... And then go ahead and join the front lines. That would be helpful. 
Um, I can go all the way through, but that does mean I'll potentially have to tank three guys. As long as you leave enough room for me to move through, we're fine. Which is what I am worried about. The problem is standing at the side really is not a good idea. The plank uh, can lead to insta-death. So this is a bad zone to uh, to cluster up. Our, our particular um, group composition isn't the greatest in naval battles yet. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll move to there, provide a body. Sadly, I don't get my attack. Ooh, a harpooner. Okay, let's see. Um, one guy goes first. I think I'll give us, uh, I'll give us a bit of points first. Seems like a good idea. Nice. There you go. And let's make sure everybody else gets some protection. He counters with feather, but takes a lot of damage. Very good. Um, so next up is the Corsair uh, there. If you could, for instance, push him back with your spear, he would fall mm -hmm. immediately. Which does sound like a good idea. Oh yeah, that's a one-shot kill. What? You die immediately? No, 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 no. Uh, you still need to trample him down. Oh, okay. And is that what kind of action is that? That is the same standard action that you have used. But I could, for oh. instance, use Kalia's standard action to trample him down. Very good. Uh, I think I will have to just join over here. Um, yep, that's a good uh, setup. Fantastic. Yeah, just do that. Okay, uh, shall I trample that guy down? I mean, he cannot get up himself, right? That is correct. So yeah. we could instead try to kill the buccaneer. Oh, yeah, we can try to kill the buccaneer instead, since that guy is crowd controlled. Sure. Do you want to try to do that? Or, I'll, yeah, uh, alternatively, where is the nearest rope? Uh, I could kill him as well. I think the buccaneer goes pretty late, so let me try that. Mm -hmm. Yarr! Wouldn't you want to be on the other side? Uh, no, no, on the other side it didn't really work that well. I, I tried both directions. Okay. All right, you can theoretically move in deeper and set up your zone. We Which have now... is preferable, I would say. Yeah, we've now officially uh, taken the bridge. <laughs> uh, I can actually move in, trample and set up zone. Sure, yeah, go ahead. The best then... outcome here. Then you can see the trample. Uh, trample. That's really shit. I, um, <laughs> All the guys that a, that are yeah, going down. I'm scared of that happening to us. Yeah. It is, mm, I don't like that. Well, high stakes uh, when when we're fighting. Uh, well, I don't really like the idea of getting insta death. Uh, mistakes or not. Do you want to attack the guy a little bit before you get disengaged? Uh, I don't have an action. I only have Kalia. Exactly. Oh, sure. Yeah. Look. Just beat that guy a bit up. Oh, wait. You want to trample him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll do that. Totally. <clears throat> Sorry. My bad. Uh, let's take this guy out. Um... And yeah, I guess she's going to go ahead and uh, fight those two guys in the bottom. You can also stand where you are and then they come in. That's so okay. I can steal their rope, actually. I'll do that. Yeah. And then land directly on their head. Bam. Well, I'm not sure if that's going to work. It still deals damage. Yeah, I can't see what their initiative is going to be. Yeah, you can. Well, you can, uh, for instance, also land in front of the zone, so then you know uh, you're hitting them once the buccaneer goes in. 
exactly there. Yep, that seems reasonable. See ya! Oh, you... oh, there we go. Oh, I, I, I really do not like this at all. <laughs> Travel! See ya, yeah. bitches. Ah, I don't like that. Willpower doesn't help you against that either, I take it? I uh, don't think so. Ugh. Well, you can still move back. I uh, do like that idea. I can't mount the, the ballista I take. You can, but you need a standard action to shoot, and you have used that for the uh, rope. So essentially everything costs a standard action. You trade your normal attack for it. Yeah. Double checking, movement, movement. Huh? I can't see this guy's movement. There we go. So we're just going to run away. Chill over there. Oh. oh my god, yeah, they get shot a lot. Jesus, they somehow managed to provoke twice. Yeah, I don't know why, they, he changed course. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure because they used dash. That might be it. Pirates two-handed mace, chaotic ball. Kwadu, uh, now finally levels up. Uh, that's a blessing, but a burden at the same time, because... Yeah, Kualu is not the one we want to level. <laughs> All the enemies are gonna get stronger, right? Yep, they are Ugh. getting much, much stronger now. Uh, we're taking Bulwark. We need a good tank in the front. And good news, Pony is leveled up. I know that you potentially absolutely was waiting f uh, for that, but... Here it comes. I do love me some carry capacity. It's a good thing you came through here. What did you want to know? Good. We're still looking for I'm that sorry, um, for it. that ship, and they, of course, know nothing. Yeah, <laughs> your princess is in another castle. Jesus. Uh, set your fisherman. Nah, well, it's always the problem after it um, afterwards. Let's rather get some extra. Uh, mm, some extra valor. If we set the fishermen uh, the moment that we're on uh, shore, it becomes an issue. We're good. All right. Whatever you say, dude. We got four valor uh, now. Uh, do you feel like uh, going for a ghost ship? You just made me very uncomfortable with the, the ship combat. Now you're gonna throw me at a ghost ship? Well, uh, this sounds has worse. nothing to do with uh, normal uh, with normal um, ship combat. We're basically taking uh, the key there and we need someone who can hack away. I think Uder uh, could do that. Shortly clear the door. Yeah, I really can't flex into anything with uh, the XP on my guys. Udo was just at a very nice breaking point, so for him it uh, went well. Uh, going back to Anger, yes, and here we go. There are lots of plague ridden in here. Do we want to fight oh. or leave? We don't have any cure for the plague, so that's a bit of an issue. True. Uh, I have no idea how these encounters work. Is it like a darkness encounter? I think it is one of those fleeing encounters where you need to flee uh, quick enough. Uh, yeah, without cures for the plague, I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, then we're leaving and letting the ship be. Not a problem. We can come back later. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that seems like a bit of a a bit of a risk. And uh, we already lost uh, two of our fighters. True. If you can, you might want to sail a little bit sideways so we don't run a, uh, We run with the wind. Can you get it? Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, we need to go this way. 
We're now running right into the uh, the wind. By the way, we're getting reputation, which is good. You want to get a reputation? Because we need to get to 250 to fight that captain? Correct. I see. So uh, please stop sailing so we don't get any more ship battles. Uh, well, I have bad news for you. If you don't enjoy ship battles, then this is going to be a problem, uh, my dude, because that is half uh, the content here. There is an arena, though, um, but I think at the moment we might be a tad too weak. And there is an old set of runes, but we need about eight or nine torches in order to realistically go through them. Look at that, you found our bounty. True that. It's a shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Good, this time it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's only us and them and a good old naval battle. We might not want to stand on the bridge again. We need a bit of a better, uh, a bit of a better tactic. Um, I mean, can we just sit back and let them jump in like dipshits? Uh, they have a ballista, I guess. Yeah, so that's not really an option. But what I could do is I could use the tank in order to go in. My cursor just bugged out. I didn't want to displace you there. Uh, we have one rope here. We only have one rope? No, we have two ropes and the question... Oh yeah, in the back. Uh, I could go in with the tank normally if you want. Uh, let's just see. Uh, can't sprint. But what I could do is... I could potentially move up, sprint and take their rope. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, uh, do we want to start? What do we even do in this situation? I could get us a point, I guess. Uh, that is, that could be a start, yeah. Don't see much of a reason to do the shouting right now, but we could in theory do that. Uh, well, you could also, yeah, you could do that. You hit two, and... Good. Then you set up a zone, maybe? Yeah, how far is my... How far is my... I can't get there. Uh, I don't think anybody is going to come into the zone. Okay, well, in that case... No. I'll just stay here, get us a point, okay. and uh, I'll leave it at that. They are going to... Put in the ballista. What I could do is I could go in with a tank and uh, and jump right on that. Guy. Yeah, go ball steep. Or I think you wanted to steal their rope, right? We're going to do exactly that. Do you get another movement afterwards yes. if you use the rope? That's crazy. There we go. That guy. We'll go overboard. They just lost one of their ropes. Um, let me place my tank and then afterwards you can do whatever you feel like. My tank goes there. And they can use one rope. Which they will use on my pugilist. So... I think you can go with your with Walla or let my pugilist run. Either way is fine for me. Uh, you're gonna knock that guy over. I'll let uh, your pugilist go for now. Actually, uh, do we just let the guy come and like the gang up on him with three people? Yeah, that would be a good idea. Couldn't quite knock him off. Yeah, I that's could do unfortunate. That with, uh, Walla. You're uh, very far behind enemy lines at yep. the moment. Which is why we need to be careful. I'd want to go north, maybe? Uh, sure. There will be another set of ropes, so 
I'm just checking. Yeah. Good. You're next. Yeah, you can I'll, uh... theoretically knock the guy off. Yep. That's the plan. That's insane that you can just jump anywhere. That is also a good option if you just go into the enemies, but uh, it's better to knock the Buccaneer off than he's gone, gone. Yeah, and you I can, do believe so too. You can move uh, from there next turn. There you go, one down. Thousands to go. And I don't want anyone... To get pugilisted? No. Uh, to get that crosshair uh, back up, so I'm just going to stand here and tank like a boss. He disarmed me, so I can't use skills, but that's fine. You could set up a zone kind of at the edge. Mm, I really don't want to, though. Okay. Can I move here and instead uh, set up the zone over here? Sure, he yeah. still has a movement, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The only place he can really go is uh, to us, so... This should work. We'll see. Okay, he did nothing. He decided to not move. What a bitch. Good, voila. Uh, now is a good time for... Uh, so, uh, a ballista moving. shot? No, you can't. Uh, uh, that would be good for next round, but I can do that with Kalia. Uh, you might just want to actually engage, yeah, something like that. Go closer to the freebooter. I'm not sure if you want to fight Malagath the Bane because that guy is the boss. And uh, well, we he don't might... really get a choice, do we? Well, you can go to Kualu and just reinforce there if you want. Uh, with Dash, we might be able to, yeah. How far can this guy move? Yeah, he will get to me no matter where I place myself. Not if you dash behind Kualu. Yeah, but in case he does not get to attack. My point is, uh, yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you might want to just attack the Freebooter and take the hit. Uh, he's a tank, he will not deal that much damage, but I was saying, or I, will, I meant to say, in a one-on-one, -on -one, he will definitely eat you. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is, no matter what, I will have to dash. Like, this is the first I can move. Uh, we can either move here and uh, do an attack. You could dash and, and then uh, hit, hit two people. No, we don't have our normal attack. Oh, yeah, you uh, Stupid me. I'll just move here. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Ooh, fantastic. Nice damage. Let me still go through you. Wow, lots of damage. Indeed. Alright, so... I could now do the swing. Get some energy back. I uh, think he's going first on their end. Oh, the cat. I think. Well, he's gonna get stopped. He's gonna waste his turn completely. Yeah, I think Kalia could go and just drop on all three of them if you want. Uh, yeah, sure. Do your thing. Shoot your shot, as they say. <laughs> oh no. What a waste. <laughs> the poor children. Uh, I can't get close enough to set up a zone on those three guys that are going to get moved. Uh, well, you could. I don't know. I could uh, take the rope and just dash in. Uh, then he will still be uh, way ahead of uh, them. You should maybe uh, consider doing that. You can set yeah, up the it takes my Yeah, you guys can easily kill that guy. Why not? Fucking, uh, what's it called? Lightweight coming in here. <laughs> uh, where are you knocking them? You're knocking A little bit to the north, yeah. There. If you, yeah, that that's good. Uh, I'll do it like this. Good. Let me take Udyr's turn. Uh, okay. 
Um, the other option would have been to have Vola finish the freebooter. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Try, try to do that. All right. I swing first, and then this kills him for sure. Nice. And that's that. Uh, we have nothing left really. Um, if I stand on the rope, they can't use Correct. it, right? So let's do that. Since I can't really help Quavo well, anyway. <coughs> Uh, you, Malek, look like a tasty, tasty target for poisoning. And then we're really moving far, far behind. Um, you're going to land, so that's okay. Uh, let me pugilist uh, the other side. And then you can use your spear. Oh, you use your spearman now to run to, yeah. uh, to the... Uh, uh, to the uh, rope on the back and drop yourself in. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, just, just do a bit more shenanigans, knocking this guy around. Sure. Or we can knock this guy. Actually, we'll knock this guy. We are indeed best friends. All right. Um, I can't move, it seems. Oh, I can. There we go. Uh, we want to be in the back. Sure. And get us a point. No, oh, relationship has improved. I mean, these two can probably take a bit of damage from Pugilist. We also have our Spearmen coming in. So yeah, just bind that uh, captain over there. Yeah, we're, I'm weakening him. Yeah, you are going to get hit a bit. That's fine. He takes more damage. All right, Kevin Geth, uh, we have enough energy, so I'm just going to be uh, a bit of an ass. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to here and set up a zone like this. Very good. And that should guarantee that he runs into it. Now you go ahead and finish up that guy. Order. No chill on that pugilist. Oh wow. Look at that. Look at him straight up avoid that zone. What a dude. Uh, oh, and he gets a turn. That's not great. Uh, and he still will get a turn. Uh, you should use. Uh, should I disengage? Is what you're saying? Uh, you should use seven geth uh, to push the corsair overboard. Okay. I should be able to do that. How do I know for sure that is okay? I think that should be. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then. We're gonna give some first aid to him. That was some crazy attacks once again. Yep. Uh, and then we're gonna reinforce you. Thank you. I don't think you have, uh, we have any knockbacks. Actually, we do have a lot of knockbacks. Uh, I can't remember that. All right. Good. Let me just kill him real quick. Mm hmm. I'm gonna stomp that guy with uh, Aldenor. Good. 
Good. Bye. <laughs> and then we're just gonna reinforce you. That's a good idea. Takes 19 points of damage. I'll just continue to weaken him. Hit him a little bit and that's about it. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think I can quite get to the guy that's hanging. So nah, ignore him. He's dead. Lost. Exactly. Oh, that's, that's the plan. Uh, target if they have less. Um, yeah, we don't get a fatal blow here for sure. So. Did get a crit, so... He's bleeding on top of everything else. Good job. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Can't reach him. Look at your silly fists. <laughs> Let me shoot him. Okay. Oh, you want to finish him? Yeah. Let's just uh, do the shoot first. Because Good of hit. that. Uh, there you go. Go ahead. Guaranteed crit on the first attack. <laughs> Never gets old. Never yeah. gets old. Fantastic. Glorious. That's a good trade. So we got two rum, which is good. And look at that heavy helmet, rare heavy helmet. That might even be better than the one that Kualu is wearing currently. Let me just double check. As long as this unit is engaged, they have protection. That is a fantastic helmet. So automatic 30% uh, damage reduction for him every basically across the board pretty neat you're eating my tools though yeah you're eating them like candy yeah unfortunately we haven't finished a single area uh, because once you finish an area you get uh, kind of uh, the bonus for that area which is typically uh, that every single tool repairs 10 more and yeah you can I think five five more. or five more Initially. yeah you're going for that shipwreck there yes and you're very can... grateful because i'm very curious yeah it will be a huge secret flaming projectiles uh a builder's blueprint a couple of other stuff and if you now uh, look under sailing maybe uh, put that oh yeah you can read it we could, for instance, have the improved uh, flat-bottomed hull. There you go. Uh, Is that just... you just put a point in it or something? Yeah, automatically, yeah. Oh. oh, well, we still have to build it, I guess. And the one point that I put into was minus five uh, rations whilst we are on water. Nice. So... Um, it's a bit of a shame that it still blinks the, the the secret over there, even though we've already discovered it. Uh, I think that's the swarm of fi uh, the school of fish that blinks. Oh, okay. Why didn't you fish? What a shame. Uh, f it up. That's uh, the honest truth. There's a lot of fish here, like in a in a line. Why is that? That is, uh, if you have uh, if you have uh, a fisherman. Net? Uh, on your boat you can just drive over it or uh, sail over it and you automatically get fish but we have why didn't we assign the fishermen we did <laughs> we did Udyr is uh, if you oh, click okay. b uh, that's standard shortcut uh, that is for boat you will see the roles on the ship oh you can assign, assign them that way all right yeah that's like we're just a line of fish <laughs> Good. Equal out of Sinan. Sinan will uh, start hunting us. A little bit of rare material here. Let me put that cool. uh, all into the craft uh, bag. 
Yeah, we have plenty in the crafting bag now. Yeah. And I we need base materials again, like ore and, and wood. Uh, we do have a bit of that, but ore and wood are uh, rarities here, so they uh, are indeed quite rare. Uh, yeah, I was going to say seaweed for sure. Taking a little bit of seaweed because that is part of every good um, recipe. And I think I'm ending the episode here because now it's crafting time. And next time, uh, Chris, you and I will go uh, for the first duel uh, against oh, no. a real captain. <laughs> and that is an actual duel. There's another mini game mechanic where we need to fight a captain. Because uh, without spoiling too much, captains cannot uh, die uh, from normal damage once you have reduced them to one hit point. Uh, you need to challenge them to a duel and it's a kind of more elaborate version of uh, stone scissor paper i see well, and i'm not sure if they would be too proud of that helmet good uh Kualu, i think needs more movement we're up to 14 now that's good Good. So ending the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, have a good day and see you later.